Polygon has been just crushing it lately, <laughs> to say the least, right? That's that's about all that can be really, really be said. Video over, done. No, the Polygon has been awesome. It has been probably the best layer two scaling solution out there. You know, it's obviously crushing it for Ethereum, and there's a lot of potential that still, you know, is there for Polygon as we move forward into the future and into 2023. And that's where things could end up getting very interesting for Polygon. It said that it's actually set for a strong rally in 2023 if this pattern holds. Now, sometimes we can actually look back on the past and see how things have played out before to kind of get an idea how things are going to look in the future. Well, if we look back at how the Ethereum chart played out back upon its, you know, big run up that it had, we can see the similarities between the two charts. We obviously have Matic on the left and Ethereum on the right. Now the Ethereum chart we can see has a striking, striking resemblance to what the current Matic chart is playing out as. Now, obviously there's, there's a little bit of a difference. Okay. When we compare Ethereum 2016, 2017 to Matic, you know, 2021, 2022, obviously the market is in a very different place. Okay. A big thing that, you know, the big thing that got the Ethereum price going was when the U.S. dollar uh, went to its bearish reversal, right? When that started and end up, ended up going down. Now, obviously, if this kind of plays out and the market starts recovering, Matic could, you know, end up seeing the same kind of trend moving forward. Obviously, right now it's down quite a bit on the day. It's down, I think, to like um, like 80 cents or something like that. Yeah, just over 80 cents um, and down, I believe, 14 and a half percent on the week. You know, when things go through run-ups like this, you know, the big run-up that Polygon Matic has had, there's there's obviously corrections that need to happen. It's going through one of those right now. Now, again, keep in mind that just because this has played out with Ethereum in the past doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to play out for Polygon. There's a huge possibility, but obviously there's a lot of, you know, macroeconomic factors that are, are you know, obviously influence the way that crypto is moving right now. You know, whether that be the inflation, the interest, the FTX fallout, the war, all these sorts of things, they are, you know, have some sort of negative impact currently. But obviously with it breaking the trend line, kind of like Ethereum did, you know, Ethereum, you know, where it was having lower highs, it, it ended up finally breaking past that above the, the trend line. Matic has done the same thing now. So there may still be obviously a good, good things to come. But obviously, you know, 2023 is still a you know, what month and a half away, month and a quarter away. So we still have time until that plays out. And just because it may perform well in 2023 doesn't need necessarily mean that it's going to play well right at the start of 2023. So just keep that in mind, temper your expectations. I know there's, it's tough to really, you know, get on board with a lot of positivity right now, just because I know that all these things are still here in the crypto market. If all this stuff comes to a conclusion, you know, quickly, and, you know, they stop raising interest rates and inflation, you know, drops way down, you know, maybe the market's ready and then maybe it runs just, I just don't see it quite yet. So we just got to be patient and obviously wait to see how all this sorts of things play out. But it's really cool to see, obviously the correlation between the two charts, especially seeing that Polygon as layer two solutions for, for Ethereum. So that's all I really got for you guys in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Do hit that like button if you uh, enjoyed the video. Also, make sure you show your support for the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell. Again, you can stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you guys have a great day. Have an awesome start to your week. By now, you're probably going to almost have been through your, uh, your work day. So hopefully it was great for you. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.